welcome everyone to Silver Asset of the Day and of course today's Q&A as well. The first question we have today is from Ines and that's with relation to silver prices at the moment and in particular, we've had this question a few times in the past actually, what should you do if you've bought into silver too high and you got tempted by the FOMO that we saw over the summer and you're trapped in a trade which is above $19 per ounce at the moment? Okay, so this is a very specific question and what you really want to have a look at here is as we go into the month of November through to December and January and February is the usual seasonality that we get within the precious metals at this time of year. Now usually the metals are very strong performers over January and February. The best months of the year for the metals tend to be August, January and February. So we are likely going to see another cycle higher and a push higher as we get towards the end of the year and certainly into January and February. However, a year before a US election, metals actually start to build that momentum slightly earlier. And we could actually start to see that from the end of November onwards and certainly into December, we could actually see that cycle begin earlier than normal at the end of November and into December, where the metals, certainly on higher timeframes, they start to catch a bid. Which then brings me back to that original question, which is if you are trapped in trades at much higher prices, what can we look out for here as we go into the next two to three months? Certainly I'm looking for gold to break out between now and the end of the year and into January back above the swing highs. On the way, on the higher time frame, such as the weekly, you've got that bull flag which is forming. Once we can actually get a breakout back above 15.30 and then take out 15.56, we can very quickly start to make a move up to 15.80, then 1600. That would naturally then follow through with the correlation on silver prices where I would then expect silver to break out back towards its swing highs. Now with silver price at the moment, you want to keep a very close eye on the gold silver ratio, which broke down to 83.51 today. So at the moment, we're seeing a consolidation on the gold silver ratio, which means slightly right now, gold is outperforming silver. Now, of course, we've seen gold prices break out to six year highs this year, whereas silver's only broken out to two year highs. So in time, we always get that catch up with silver prices to gold. So I am looking for more upside as we get towards a very seasonally bullish time of year around December into then January and February. So you would likely just need to be patient if you have FOMO'd in, if you bought too high on your precious metal trades. I am looking for the potential of higher prices during that seasonal cycle later on this year. The next question today we have is from Musa, and this is with respect to the S&P 500, which is just this week, in fact, yesterday broken out to all time highs. What does this mean for the precious metals? Definitely when you see the US dollar and also the S&P 500 breaking out, as they have been doing at the beginning of this week, that will put pressure on gold, on silver, and also on platinum. But what we tend to see a lot recently is that cycle during the week, that Monday, Tuesday do tend to be counter flow, and then later in the week from Wednesday onwards and often Thursday and Friday, we reach the peak of the week for gold and silver prices. So normally what we tend to see is a pullback at the beginning of the week, S&P 500, the dollar, they are quite strong over Monday through to Wednesday, and then it's typically later in the week, gold and silver, after they've dipped lower at the beginning of the week, they're catching a bid and then breaking out over Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, which again is why you don't need to FOMO in and buy at the highs, because this regular cycle is providing opportunities to buy back in much lower. So you really want to be patient with the metals, wait for these dips that you see in price. You can see silver at the moment has dipped below $18 per ounce again today. You want to be patient, wait for those dips in order to buy back in and not FOMO in and buy in too high. So don't get the fear of missing out when the metals are breaking out to the upside, there's always another opportunity to be patient and buy back in at lower prices. And of course, at the moment, metals are very much consolidating and you can just trade that range. It's very tradable and that will, of course, give you an edge in the markets. The final question today is from Alessandro, and this is with respect to major news items that you should have on your radar between now and the end of the year, and particularly when to really start looking at the markets to potentially get a bit quieter in December. And this is a very relevant question right now because there's going to be some great opportunities between now and Christmas. So essentially, as we go into that second week of December, we've got three major news items that can be a really big catalyst in mid-December right the way through to the end of that month. On Wednesday, the 11th of December, you've got the final FOMC statement of the year. That can be a major driver, of course, for the US dollar index, S&P 500, 
gold and silver prices in particular. The following day on the Thursday, not only have we got the European Central Bank announcement and press conference afterwards, which is one of the most widely watched news events with traders across the world, we've also on the 12th of December, we have the UK election as well. So this is going to provide some fantastic opportunities and volatility all the way through to December. So effectively, there's going to be plenty of trade opportunities. Not only that, we've also got the OPEC meeting at the beginning of December as well, which can be a catalyst for huge moves on oil prices over the month of December and right the way through to January as well. So certainly this period, this time of year, tends to be great for trading. There are plenty of news items which will be catalysts for explosive moves. And of course, you want to capitalize on all of those. So with that, that's been today's Q&A. Thanks again for all of your questions. And of course, we wish you good trading. Thank <music> you.